Hi everybody, it's Coach Mel from ParentingInTheKitchen.com. Today I want to show you a few tips on how to cut a hot dog for your little one. As a matter of fact, this is something you want to do for kids up to age three, and many pediatricians even recommend cutting a hot dog safely for kids up to age four. The main reason why is, if you take a look down here at my cutting board, is a typical hot dog, when you take a bite off of it, it is the perfect size to lodge in little windpipes. We have to be so careful of kids and choking. So, you know, we all enjoy good hot dogs every once in a while, and if you can, what I'd love for you to do is just take a minute and cut the sides of your hot dog. Just take that skin off. You can leave it on for some more experienced eaters, but for those emerging eaters, those little ones who are just starting out, just go ahead and take the skin off. And you're gonna go ahead and cut all four sides and then eventually cut it into four long strips, as I have right here. When you've got your strips, you just simply take a strip and you're gonna cut pea-sized cubes. Why a cube? because a child can feel a cube a lot easier in their mouth, be more aware of where that food is, and they're less likely to lose control of it. Plus, for kids who are first using their pincer grasp from that, oh gosh, that six month to um, even 14 months, even up to that stage, and they're trying to grab onto slippery foods, a cube is a lot easier for them to pick up and they won't be as frustrated. Just make sure it's small enough. And finally, if you'd like to do some baby self-feeding and you're gonna be keeping a close eye on your child, in addition to cubes, you can definitely do strips. But what I recommend is that you take your strips and you score with a knife into the edge of your strip of hot dogs, just like this. What you're gonna be doing is providing an instant uh, spot for kids when they put it in their mouth and their teeth grab onto it, they'll tear it right off and they'll get just the right size piece. The last thing I want you to remember is choking has no sound. So keep an eye on your kids. Don't walk away from them when they're trying these more advanced foods. Make sure that you know what to do if they do start to have trouble. You can Google my last name, Potok, P-O-T-O-C-K, and five myths and truths about choking. And you'll see an article with hyperlinks that will take you to more strategies. But in the meantime, go to Parenting in the Kitchen, sign up for our Picky Eater course. Thanks so much, everybody.